Hi, uh, I'm Margarita. Um, I'm gonna talk about my literacy history. So, ever since I was really little, like, it, literacy was something that was kind of always around. So, um, when my aunt found out that my mom was pregnant with me, she went and bought like a bunch of books. Um, all of the Disney princess, you know, they come in the big five minute like story books. Um, she bought a bunch of those. She bought me a bunch of Dr. Seuss. Um, a bunch of just kids books and so I had them around a lot when I was growing up um, I lived with my grandma while I was growing up a lot um, especially because my mom and dad both worked um, full-time jobs so they were gone from you know eight in the morning to five six o'clock at night so I was with my grandma the whole day um, and she she would read to me every day my grandma was always reading to me um, and so she was the one that took me to kindergarten too. So before kindergarten, I didn't go to preschool. Um, my grandma kind of taught me everything that I knew, but she taught me how to um, write my name. I knew how to write my entire alphabet. I knew how to write my numbers one through a hundred. Um, and I knew a little bit of basic reading um, because I would read with her every day. So going into kindergarten, I was already kind of ahead of where I needed to be. Um, and that kind of continued throughout all of elementary school I was usually you know one of the faster readers in my class and um, I did these things called oral language fairs um, where you know you'd read books and then you'd talk about them and you'd be in these groups with these people I don't really remember exactly what it was but because it was like second grade um, but I remember we would read these books and then we would talk about them and then we would do almost a presentation on them um I don't know if anyone had anything similar to that at their school um but yeah when I was younger reading loved to read I would go to the library every day I would check out books um you know five to ten books and I would take them home and I would read them all as fast as I could and then I would take them back and I would get five more books the next day um that's just how I was I like to read a lot I remember one time my neighbors bought me the like Junie B Jones like box set and I sat there and just read and read and read and I feel like I finished them like in a couple days because um, I was just constantly reading them I was so excited um, but yeah I like I really 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 like to read until I got to high school um, that's kind of you know when you start having to read for classes and and stuff like that and so when I got to high school it felt like everything I read and everything I was writing was forced you know it wasn't like when I was younger and I had journals and I could write about whatever I wanted to write about it was like here's this book read it analyze it write about it um so in high school like I really didn't enjoy reading as much as I could and, and there were a couple books where it was like cool you know this book's good but it wasn't like oh my gosh like I'm enjoying this so much it was more like I felt forced to, to do it um, and now that I'm older I really want to make time to be a reader again and I want to actually take time to start writing in a journal again because um, I just don't write anything ever unless it's for you know a class um, but I would like to it's just with working two jobs and going to school full-time like I don't have time to do those things um, but I really want to make time to do those things because I do I do miss it um, and so for my project I I can't draw very well but I drew it's like a book and it just has a little things that you know um, I talked about in my paper so there's me with a, a pencil and you know a journal um, my grandma a time because I want to find the time to keep reading and hopefully write you know things other than essays for school and stuff like that I'd actually like to keep a gratitude journal or something of that sort um, yeah and then just things that you know were big when I was younger so Junie B Jones and Dr. Seuss um, but yeah it's just a pretty simple little thing um, but yeah like I said I I really think that there's an importance to reading and writing especially creative writing and reading for enjoyment um, and that's something that I really really would like to pick back up now that I'm older because I had it when I was younger and then I got to high school and I lost it and beginning of college still haven't gotten it back but I really really hope that I can eventually figure it out and find the time because 
I would love to. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it, I guess. So.